Well, I'm Susan Kelly. This is Ashley Young. We're the founding owners of Evolution Medical. Okay. We do both primary and quick care. Quick care meaning we meet any urgent care need that anyone may have. Mm -hmm. Under our umbrella, we have uh, an anesthetician that does facial skin care, that type of stuff. Okay. We also have aesthetics where we do Botox. We do IV therapies such as immuno um, boosting agents. We do weight loss. We do beautification, headache, fatigue. There's a plethora of IVs and shop bar items that we offer. Um, we do primary care, anything from pediatric to geriatric. Same with our quick care. We also do primary care, I mean pediatrics to geriatrics. Mm -hmm. So if I have the flu, do I come in here? Yeah, if you have the flu, you come in. We do rapid testing, COVID, flu, strep, mono, H. pylori. Um, if you think you may have a urinary tract infection, we test on site for that as well. Mm -hmm. Plus, we also have uh, labs that we can draw. We can send out anything that, you know, if you're symptomatic, rapids don't pick up on that. Mm -hmm. We can culture and send to the lab. Okay. So what are your hours? We are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 6, Saturday by appointment and closed on Sunday. Yeah. We, we do also regenerative do... therapy. Yes. Okay. So regenerative therapy reveal, uh, refers to umbilical cord allografts. Most people in the general public know that as stem cells. Mm -hmm. um, so we have therapies that are for um, arthritis, joint pain, um, injuries, whether they're acute or chronic. Mm -hmm. So we can inject just about any joint in your body for that. Oh, boy. Um, and then we also have IV protocols for people that have autoimmune disorders, so mm -hmm. things like lupus, rheumatoid mm -hmm. arthritis, um, MS, uh, things like that. Um, we also have regenerative therapies in a inhaled form mm -hmm. for brain fog, and um, other memory related oh, issues. Okay. Well, uh, so if folks want to get in touch with you, what, what's the best way to find out more about you? Do you have a website, Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, and also uh, they can call the office, 423-817-3542, or just stop in. We'll be glad to consult with people, give them a tour, and talk about all our services. Okay. We also do hair restoration. That's oh. something that we offer. <laughs> are you, why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> That's what everybody says. Yeah. <laughs> We okay. do that both with people's own PRP as well as the stem cell therapy that Ms. Ashley was talking about. Okay. Um, so our practice is staffed by, again, a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Ashley and I both are nurse practitioners, and we have two registered nurses that is also on staff with us. Uh, I'm Nancy Barker with the Chamber, and, and uh, we are so pleased. Uh, Susan has been a friend of mine for as long as I can remember. And so glad to have her back in Hawkins County and, and to get you active again in Hawkins yes. County. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so glad that you all are here. This facility is absolutely beautiful. And um, we want to wish you all the best. Uh, and uh, we're just pleased that I think this is a need in our community. And, and uh, I'm going to find out here in about 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 so... Uh, so we just want to welcome you, and um, this is Patrick Lund, and he's our chamber president. I'm going to let him say a few words, and then we'll let you all say a few words. All right. Well, again, as Nancy said, we want to welcome you to the community and welcome you to the chamber itself. Uh, little amenities like this make a big difference for the local people around here, not having to go to Kingsport or Knoxville. So I hope and wish you all the best success in this in this endeavor right here. Because like I said, this is, this is, this, as Nancy said, it's a really nice, nice outfit you got here and all that. So... Hope everything turns out well, and we're here to help you all we can. So, Susan? We certainly appreciate that. You know, Ashley and I are blessed to be on measure to be here. And um, I may choke up a little bit telling you all our story, a little bit about our story. I won't take up a whole lot of time, but um, definitely a dream come true. And not only a dream come true, Ashley, Anthony, and myself, we look at this as a mission for us. Number one, it's an honor to serve your hometown. You know, and when you look at the needs around us mm -hmm. and the things that we can do to give back, I tell people one of our greatest accomplishments as far as this location is having this blessing box out here yes. and what we can do to give back to people. And you know, when we started this endeavor, we were all at, we were sitting at Miss Ashley and Anthony's house and I said, you know what, I hope we make millions. And, and Anthony kind of looked at me and I smiled and I said, but let me tell you why. 
how many little children have you seen? You know, I've watched people outside of these, you know, Hawkins County school system where little kids get out with two different shoes. Yeah. You know, the veterans, the homeless. If we make it, look what we can give back to our community. So, you know, we're not only here as healthcare professionals to help in that realm, we are here to be servants of our hometown and our communities. Anthony grew up across the mountain in Hancock County. You know, we have people coming to support us from there and it's, it is an honor for us to give back. Absolutely. In that case, I hope you have multiple millions of dollars you think. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, we'll give half of it away. Absolutely. If I have anything to do with him, we'll give half of it away. At least oh, I. We have servants' hearts. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's, I taught you well. You taught me well. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you did. Yes, ma Susan was one of my leadership, one of my, one of my first, first leadership, leadership yeah. groups. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so we, like I said, we go back quite a ways. Yes. So. And I cannot thank Miss Nancy and Hawkins County for as good as it's been to me over the years. It's truly an honor to be here. Okay. I just want to say thank you all so much for showing up. Um, I can't really say anything better than Miss Susan said, except that we're here to serve the people of Hawkins County and the surrounding area. I mean, I grew up across the mountain. If I took, if I took you to where I grew up, you'd be surprised. I'm standing here in front of you, so I'm blessed. But to whom much is given, much is required. So that, I try to keep that in my mind. To whom much is given, much is required. So I just hope we can give back and give back and give and give and give. Because I tell you what, I have to ask my wife for gas money. <laughs> not, not, not bragging, not bragging, not bragging, but I'll stock that blessing box and then I have to ask my wife for, hey, you got $20 where I can get guys? <laughs> well, what'd you do with your money? You're a daggone doctor. <laughs> well, okay, I spent my money. <laughs> okay, I spent my money. And yeah, I might buy me a sausage biscuit or whatever. <laughs> but uh, I hope we make millions so we can give it away, just like Miss mm -hmm. Susan. But I hope we're able to be successful in providing care to the people of this community and others surrounding us. That's what we were called to do. When I could, I was a nurse and, 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 and was trying to wrestle with going to medical school. And I could not decide if I should do that or not because I had a good job. And I came home from work one morning. <laughs> And I always said my prayers before I got into bed and went to sleep, tried to sleep during the day and go to work at night. And that morning it hit me hard. I just could not, could not wrestle with it. Couldn't make peace with it. And I got down on my knees that morning and I said, Lord, this is too much for me. This is, this is one time I'm going to give it up to you. I, I, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. I, I, and I couldn't. can't do this. So you take this over. And if this is to be your will, then I expect it to go smoothly. And if it's not, that will let me know that it's probably not the right direction for me. And a little old boy from Sneeble got to go to medical school. So I assumed that was his destiny for me. And I just hope and pray, and I want y'all to do that too, that me having the ability, along with my wife and Susan, to be in here will be the fulfillment of what I feel like was his decision. Um, like I said, I'm from Cross Mountain. I don't have no big words, no words of wisdom or nothing like that, but I'm just going to tell you, that's just, that's how I see it from me. Uh, I died without, or I was born without a dollar in my pocket, and I'll die probably without a dollar in my pocket. I don't, I don't even, they're like, oh, you're a doctor. That don't matter. I don't even care about stuff like that. We're just here to help people. So, go ahead. All right, now we're going to cut this time, Susan. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31
Congratulations. Awesome. 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 <laughs>